Hey Frag fam, Corbin here again from Northwest Scent. Well, I asked it and you guys answered. So if you were not aware, I put up a poll on my Facebook group called Northwest Scent Frag Fam, which if you're not a member, be sure to go join it. I have it linked down below and I will probably put a picture on screen as well. I would love to see everybody watching this video over in my group. Anyway, you guys voted on the topic for my thousand subscriber special video and the vast majority of the votes went to a fragrance collection tour video. So that is exactly what we're doing here today. I'm going to take you through my entire fragrance collection. Not going to talk about any fragrances. We're not going to do any kind of descriptions. I'm just going to show you guys the fragrances and we're going to keep on going. So the video is as short as possible. So if you're interested to see my fragrance collection, please stick around. But first let's roll that intro. Welcome back. So like I said in the intro, this is my fragrance collection tour video. Now, how we're gonna be structuring this is I'm gonna be starting with my cheaper fragrances here at the start, and then by the end of the video, those are gonna be my more expensive fragrances. So not a super complicated video, we're gonna get straight into it right now. And kicking this collection tour off, we have this one right here. This is a Zaro Chrome Aqua. And then I have Hugo Boss Bottled Intense. This one is from Central Obsessions. This is King of Kings. I have a Mont Blanc. This is Mont Blanc Starwalker. Have a Abercrombie and Fitch fragrance right here. This one is First Instinct Together. Have a Mercedes Benz. This is Mercedes Benz Cologne. Now we're going to keep on going. I have Tommy Bahama Set Sail St. Bart's. I have, who is this by? I think this is Liz Claiborne. This is Candies, the new formulation. I wish I had a vintage bottle of that stuff. We have Mont Blanc uh, Individuel right here. Have a Carolina Herrera. This is CH Men Privé. Then I have a Guerlain. This is Lome EDL Lay Intense. And I can already see it right now. Bottles are gonna start knocking into each other. It's gonna be a little bit kind of loud probably, so I do apologize in advance for that. This is Sean John 3 AM. Then I have Dunhill Icon, the original. I have some Nauticas. We have Nautica Voyage Sport. Have another Nautica Voyage. This one is Heritage. And then my last one, and my favorite actually from the Voyage line, this is N83. Okay, and then we have some Guerlains again. This is Guerlain Vetiver, the Eau de Toilette. Again, another Guerlain. This one is Lome Ideal Cologne. I have Mercedes-Benz Club Black. Have another uh, car brand. This one is Bentley for Men Intense. Have another Azaro. This one is Porome Nighttime, and this is honestly one of the worst fragrances in my entire collection. I absolutely despise it. This one is uh, Antonio Puig, or Puig, however you say it. This is Corum. Have a Hugo Boss. This is uh, Man Iced. Uh, let's see here. I got another Azaro. This is actually a small vintage bottle of the original Pour Homme. I have just a tester of 4711. And we have a few John Barbados fragrances. This one is Artisan Blue. I have Dark Rebel right here. And then the last one is John Barbados. This is the Nick Jonas Crimson, I believe, the collaboration with Nick Jonas. Then we have Salvatore Ferragamo Porome. I think it's called F Free Time. Got a couple of Hugo Boss again. This is Hugo Boss Bottled Infinite. I have, again, Hugo Boss. This one is Boss Bottled Tonic. Then I got some Banana Republic fragrances. This one right here is Vintage Green, number 78. And then right here I have number 90. This is Pure White. I have number 17. This is Oud Mosaic. 
And then the last one I have from the Banana Republic Icon line, it is number six. This is Black Platinum. So those are all of like the cheaper fragrances I have out here. And now we're gonna move into the room to my fragrance cabinet. Okay, so we have relocated to the room and we're gonna be starting here on the bottom shelf. This is gonna be a little bit awkward because things are pretty cluttered, but I'm gonna start here from the front left. I have Gucci Porom 2. Have another Gucci also discontinued. This is Gucci Envy. Then I got some Pradas. I have Prada Amber Pour Homme. I got the original Prada Luna Rosa Eau de Toilette. I have Prada Luna Rosa Black. I have Prada Luna Rosa Carbon, a good Dior Sauvage alternative. And then Prada Loam Low, or excuse me, this is just the original Prada Loam. And then this one right here is Prada Loam Low. Then I have some Comme des Garçons, which are actually decently high-end designer fragrances, but the bottles have to lie flat just because of their shape. That's why I have them here on the bottom. So this one is Comme des Garçons Man 2. I have Comme des Garçons uh, Black Pepper. I have Comme des Garçons Wonder Wood. And then my favorite from the house, and one of my OG fragrances, this is Comme des Garçons Black. Then I have some Issey Miyake fragrances. This is Issey Miyake Nuit Dissi Pulse of the Night. We also have Nuit Dissi. This is just the Parfum. I have a Low Dissi from Issey Miyake. This is Noir Ombre, which is not discontinued, but it's really hard to find. And then I have Issey Miyake Noir Argent. Now, let's see, we're gonna start from over here now, I guess. I have Givenchy Gentleman Only. And then I have Givenchy Gentleman Cologne. I have Givenchy Play Intense. Have some Azaro fragrances. This is Azaro The Most Wanted. And then I have, what's this? This is Azaro Wanted by Night. Next we have some Jean Paul Gaultier's. This is Le Mal Essence de Parfum. Then I have uh, Ultra Mall from Jean Paul Gaultier. This is actually the 2019 Christmas edition of Le Mal, the original. And then I have Le Mal Eau Fraiche. Here I have some Muglers. This one is Pure Havan. I also have Pure Malt from Mugler. Then my last one, and honestly one of my favorites, a really good discontinued fragrance, this is Pure Tonka. Then I have some Bulgaris. We have Aqua Amara. And then I also have Aqua Atlantique from Bulgari again. Then I have two more from Bulgari down here. We have Bulgari Man, this is Wood Neroli. And then I have Bulgari Man in Black. I have a couple of Paco Rabans. This one is Ultraviolet Man. And then I also have Ultra Red Man. And then we have uh, Invictus Aqua 2016 from Paco Rabanne. And then also have Pure XS from Paco Rabanne. Then we got some Dolce & Gabbana's back here. This is the one, I think it says Mysterious Night. And then I have the one Eau de Toilette. And then the one Eau de Parfum, Parfum, excuse me. And then I have Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue Eau Intense. I have some Versace's. This is the original Versace Man. I have Versace Man O Fresh. I also have Versace Eros. And then I have a Cartier. This is a Pasha de Cartier Parfum. Okay, so we've moved on to my next shelf up. What I'm gonna be doing here is I'm gonna be pulling the fragrances from the back and then starting with those. So I've already pulled them all out. Here I have a Spice Bomb. This is the new Night Vision Eau de Parfum. I also have 
Spice Bomb Fresh, the sadly discontinued fragrance. And then if you're gonna have a Spice Bomb, you gotta have this one right here. This is Spice Bomb Extreme. I also have one Bottega Veneta. This is Pour Ohm Extreme. I have an Andy Tower fragrance. This is Laird du Desert Morricane, more colloquially known as LDDM. I have Dan Naughton's Gravitas Pour Ohm right here. And I'm definitely anticipating getting Bon Viver. I have two Imaginary Authors fragrances. This one right here is Cape Heartache. And then I have this one right here. This is Saint Julep. And then I have one Maison Margiela fragrance. This is Jazz Club. Sorry, I had to cut the clip there. They were doing a bunch of yard work right outside, so it got really loud. But anyway, we're gonna keep moving on. So I have some Chanel's. This is Chanel Allure Homme Sport Eau de Toilette. I also have Chanel Allure Homme Sport Eau Extreme. I have Chanel Allure Homme Edition Blanche. I have Blue de Chanel Eau de Parfum. I used to have all three of the Blue de Chanel's. I've just narrowed it down to this one. I have some Armani Codes. This is Armani Code Eau de Parfum. I also have Armani Code Absolute Gold. I have Armani Code Absolute. I have Armani Code Colonia. I have Armani Mania. I have Armani Stronger With You Freeze. I have Armani Aqua Di Gio Profondo Lights. I have Armani Aqua Di Gio Absolute Instinct. This is a really slept on flanker, really good fragrance. And then I have Armani Aqua Di Gio Profumo. I have YSL's Reeve Gosh. I have YSL's Wide Live. I have YSL's Y O Frish. I have YSL's La Nuit de Lome Frozen Cologne. La Nuit de Lome Eau de Toilette, the original. I have Lome Ultime. I have the original Lome. What is this? I have YSL's M7 Oud Absolu. I have, oops, YSL Tuxedo. I have Terre d'Hermes O Intense Vetiver. And then I have Terre d'Hermes the Eau de Toilette. And then I have Bulgari. This is from the La Gem line, or like their niche line, I guess you could say. This is Tigar. And then I'm on to a bunch of my Dior's now. This is Dior Eden Rock from their Privé line. I have Dior Fahrenheit Le Parfum. I have the original Dior Fahrenheit. And then I have Dior Eau Sauvage Parfum. Dior Eau Sauvage Cologne. I have Dior Elm Cologne. Dior Elm Sport. Dior Elm O. Whoops, that could have been bad. And I have Dior Ohm uh, Intense. And let's squeeze that one out, there we go. And then I have Dior Ohm Parfum. And so that's everything from the second shelf. Okay, so now we're on to the third shelf and I'm gonna start from the front this time. So these are all my Tom Fords. I have Tom Ford Grey Vetiver, the Eau de Parfum. I have Tom Ford Ombre Leather. Whoops. I have Tom Ford Beau de Jour. Tom Ford Costa Azura. Tom Ford 
Effing Fabulous. Let's focus that, there we go. And then this one is Tom Ford's Tobacco Oud Intense. This one is Oud Wood Intense. I have Oud Mineral. This is the original Oud Wood. Uh, this one is Fougère d'Argent. This is Plum Japonais. Here, this is Tuscan Leather Intense. This is Soleil Brulant. This is Soleil Blanc. Then my last Tom Ford, this is Neroli Portofino Forte. Okay, so up next I have Jeremy Fragrance's Black Tie. And then I have Unisex as well. I have a couple of Serge Luton's. I have Ombre Sultan. And then this one is Five O'Clock Ogier Jamber. I have some Nasamatos. This one is Pardon, Pardon, and then I have Baranda. Then I have some Maison Francis Kirchons. This one is Aqua Universalis Forte. I also have Aqua Celestia Forte. I have Grand Soir. I have Masculine Pluriel, and then Amorous Ohm. I have one Montal fragrance. This one is Honey Aoud. I also have some Manceras. This is Red Tobacco. This one is Cedrat Boise. And then I have Instant Crush as my last Mancera. Up next, I have some Zahara fragrances. This one is the original Signature Pour Homme. And then I also have the Co-Flankers, his second and third releases. This one is Signature Royale. And then I have Signature Noir right here. And I'm really anticipating the new Rose Flanker as well as the uh, YouTube content creator fragrances. And then I have a diptyque. This is Tam Dao, the Eau de Toilette. Up next, I have some Killians. I have Angel's Share right here. I have Bamboo Harmony. I have Killian Intoxicated. Probably my favorite Killian fragrance currently. And then I have Straight to Heaven. Now I have one Kajal fragrance right now. This one is Kajal Ohm, just the original. I have two BDK fragrances. This one is Gris Charnel. And then my other one is Tabak Rose. Okay, so now we're moving on to the very back part of the third shelf. So here we have an Ormond Jane. This is Ormond Man. And then I have Another Ormond Jane, this is Montebacco Verano. I have a Penhaligans, this is Baolia. I have an Argos Fragrance, this is Triumph of Bacchus. I have an Atelier de Sors, this is Iris Fav. I have a Dixit and Zach Fragrance, this one is Rising Mysore 2. Here's one from Pierre Goylami, Gayami, however you say it. This is Lamusque and Lapu. And then I actually have six Nishanes. So I have Africa Oliphant. I have Sultan Vetiver. I have B612. This one is Karagos. This one is Fan Your Flames. 
And then my last Nishane and the last fragrance from this shelf, this is Colony's Saffron, or Saffron Colony's, I should say. Okay, so we're on my last shelf of fragrances here. We're actually gonna be starting here in the front. So I have my Rojas. This one is Scandal Parfum Cologne. I also have Vetiver Parfum Cologne. And then I have Elysium. This is actually the full parfum, even though it's in the parfum cologne bottle. It was a limited edition 100 ml that they released. I have uh, Raja, a Midsummer Dream. I have Sweetie Aoud. I have Creation E Parfum. I have from the Gulf Collection, this one is Qatar. I have Amber Oud. I have this one right here. This is Musk Oud. And then I actually do have a couple of the travel sprays. They're 7.5 milliliters each. I have this one right here, and this is Oligarch. And then I have one more, and this one is Parfum de la Nuit 3. So those are all of my Raja fragrances. Then we're gonna continue on this shelf as well. So I have Costume National Ohm. I have one from Memo Paris. This is African Leather. I have an Aqua de Parma. This is Colonia Assoluta. And then I have a Barreto. This is Sun Dazed. Moving right along, I have my Amwages. This one is Reflection Man. This is Interlude Black Iris. This one is Enclave. And then you have to have this one if you have an Amwage. This is Jubilation 25. I have a Javoy fragrance. There's the house right there, Javoy. This one is Psychedelic. And then I have all my Zerjoff fragrances. This one is from the Shooting Stars collection. This is Uden. Whoops, there we go. And then this one is from the Join the Club collection. This is More Than Words. I have a couple of Casa Marotti fragrances. This one is Mephisto. And then I have Italica right here. And then my last fragrance from Zerjoff, of course the classic, this is Naxos. So next we have my Parfum de Marly fragrances, and these ones are really hard to reach, but this one is Hobdon. I also have Percival right here, and then I have uh, Sedley. Then I also have Lipizzan. This is an Eau de Toilette. You don't see this one talked about ever, hardly at all. Pretty underrated in my opinion. It is a little bit challenging though. This one is the original Layton. I have Layton Exclusive. And then my last part from Marley, it is this one right here. This is Carlisle. Okay, so now we're on to my last house. This is all Creed fragrances. So I used to be a huge Aventus collector, so I have a few bottles of Aventus. This one, here I'll show. This is the old style atomizer. This is batch 13NB01 from 2013. I also have a 2015 batch. This is 15R12. And then my last bottle of Creed Aventus, this is uh, 17Q11. I also have Aventus Cologne. I have Royal Mayfair. I have Royal Oud. And, and then I have the two Viking flankers, the original Viking, and then the new Viking Cologne. I also have a flacon of spice and wood. And I use a little tiny travel atomizer. 
this thing right here to actually apply it and spray it. And then I do have a couple left here on the shelf that just weren't too far back for me to reach. This one is a Rolfa. I have Himalaya right here, one of my favorites. And then the last bottle of Creed that I have, this is Virgin Island Water. Okay, so this is the very last part of the video. These are all of my backup bottles, or in a case of a few of them, I'm just trying to get rid of them. So really in no particular order. I do have a bunch of Loam Old Teams. So I have, I think, four of them. That's two, that's three, and then that's number four. So if you're looking for an extra bottle of Loam Old Team, let me know. I also have a backup of Dior Ohm O. This is 100 mil. This is actually a bottle I'm trying to get rid of, and that's why it's down here. This is Banana Republic Linen Vetiver from the Icon line. I just, I wore it a couple of times. I really do not like it at all. I have a backup of Chanel Allure Ohm Sport O Extreme, and this one's a little special. If you check the batch code right here, I think this is a 2015 bottle, or it's like one of the first formulations. I haven't tried it yet, but I'm saving it. I also have a backup of Guerlain Loam Ideal Cologne. I have a backup of Tom Ford's Tobacco Oud Intense because this fragrance is amazing. I have a backup of Aqua De Gio Absolute Instinct, which this may or may not have been discontinued. I have a backup of Dior Homme Parfum in the 75 milliliter style. I have a backup of Paco Rabanne Ultra Red Man. And then I pulled a few out from the back just because they were hard to reach. I have a backup of Invictus Aqua 2016. This one is still wrapped in cellophane. I have a Creed Aventus 10th Anniversary Edition bottle that I have not opened yet because I already have three other bottles of Aventus that are opened. I have a brand new bottle of uh, Creed Aventus Cologne because I really like this stuff. This is before they actually started using cellophane. So even though it's not wrapped in cellophane, this one is brand new. I have another low mold team, although this is in the 200 milliliter size. Again, this one's brand new as well. And then my last backup bottle, it is from Jean-Paul Gaultier. It is a Ultra Mall. This is a 125 milliliter bottle. Well, there you guys go. That was a tour of my entire fragrance collection. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, I would really appreciate dropping a like just to show your support. And then that way more people can see my videos on YouTube. Additionally, if you want to write a comment, maybe just letting me know your thoughts as well as some new video ideas or topics, that would be great too. And since you're down there doing all that stuff, if you've not already, if you could hit the subscribe button and then the bell notification, that would be amazing. That way you stay up to date on new videos whenever they get released going forward. But with all that out of the way, that's all I really have for you guys today. So I hope you have a good one. Stay healthy, stay wealthy, and smell great.